Hello everybody, my name is Rin. Welcome to my channel. Today we will be talking about an artist who treats his fan base like police treat POC. Abusively. <laughs> but first, happy holidays. I hope you're having an amazing time with your friends and family and all your loved ones. I hope you'll get everything you want for Christmas. I know I have since you're here. <laughs> Hello to all the new little blind moles. If you don't know, little blind moles is what I call my followers. Because as artists, when you put a blank piece of paper in front of us, it's like we've never seen whatever the fuck we wanted to draw, so we are little blind moles. So, today we have another, another cup of tea to serve. We will be talking about Puririka. Puririka is an artist with almost 300k followers on TikTok. And they're all pretty fucking hardcore. So much so, that whenever a minor inconvenience happens to Puririka, they will go and ruin whoever caused that minor inconvenience she does happen to follow me i'm sorry little one the most recent such situation however we're gonna talk about all the other misdeeds in a minute but most recently she uh went after a 13 year old artist for allegedly tracing one of her drawings allegedly it is very debatable we're gonna discuss it in a second however what i mostly care about is how she chose to handle this situation this card is a godless place it is forgotten by any entity who could be considered god so of course this is where it all went down burika uh, has a discord server with around 3000 of her followers one of these fans came across this drawing and they're like hmm and it is very close to this drawing of yours, Purika. And the artist was like, question mark, elaborate. What do you mean, Purika fan? What do you mean? The fan posted the interaction on the Discord server and Purika proceeded to humiliate the shit out of this 13-year-old artist. She even aired her grievances on her TikTok, which again, 300,000 followers. Then her noon dick riders <laughs> proceeded to mass report the account and go removed. This is her art style. It is important to say that this is not a very super mega extra original esque art style. It's alright. I don't mind it. I like it. It's called the jelly art style. There is a lot of other um, artists that do it, and Purika herself has said that she does not own the art style. Now, is this even traced? Nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> the 13 year old artist has posted a time lapse video showing clearly that it is not traced. And she's using Ibis Paint, which is a software that does not allow you to hide layers like Procreate might. So this is legit. She did not trace for real, for sure. 100%. Now people are saying, well, yeah, but it's still heavily referenced and she's not cool with that. Objection that's cap your runner. It's literally a front angle in the same style. There are elements that are pretty similar, however, you could say that about 60% of her other art on her Instagram. Like this front facing angle is something that she does often, it's something that's uh, very comfortable for her to do and i'm fine with that honestly there are obviously some elements that are similar but also there's elements that are not very similar the hair is not the same the clothes are different and that's a very common angle for purika to use are we gonna say that she's self-dressing or self-referencing some people are not okay with that either and i must say no nah, she's not she's just very comfortable with this angle and she's taught people how to draw eyes noses and lips in this angle so why is this an issue right now with this art style there's also like a same face syndrome contagion it's a pathogen that's going in the air with people of this art style also as someone who makes art tutorials myself i really don't understand this mindset because like when i make the art tutorials in my art style i hope and expect people to kind of copy my art style because because it's my art style i like the way that it looks and i hope to see more so whenever people kind of follow my art style I'm like she <laughs> you know what's up you know <laughs> so i don't i don't understand how can you be possessive off of something when you are teaching people how to do said something like it does not make sense so the way that you went down is like listen i learned the law i'm gonna show you what i learned so you can draw like me as well i'm not gatekeeping i'm not gatekeeping 
This is how to draw the nose. Oh my god, you taught me so well. I can draw the nose now. Look, it's exactly like yours. <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? Kind of insane if you ask me. Kind of insane if you ask me. Oh, that's just me. All of that being said, though, I do understand the frustration of someone stealing part of your creative process. There are hella artists online, and we got AI and shit right now as well. So, so everyone's like suspiciously looking around. However, as someone with influence, as someone with a hella big platform, you should never beef it out in public with a 13 year old. Actually, I did a lot of the things that I've been called out for, but I'm standing with my point. I don't think what I did was wrong. Like, if I had the chance to do it again, I'll do it again, over and over. I don't know why I'm getting cancelled for, for calling people out to trace my art, like what? And then, instead of learning something from the situation, she's coming and saying, Oh, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Why are people getting mad about me getting mad that people steal my shit? Girly, girly pop. We're not getting mad at you getting mad over someone stealing your shit. We are getting mad at you over beefing it out in public with a 13 year old. You could have sent her a fucking DM. That's what I did, cause this happened to me once as well. But notice how you didn't know about that. Notice how you have just learned about it. Cause why the fuck would I tell you about that? I talked with them in private. They did, they did end up denying that they, they uh, referenced my drawing. It be what it be though. They even hit me with the probably, probably use the same reference. Baby boy, baby boy, I did not use a reference for this drawing. I just ended up letting it go though. Cause they were a fan of me. <laughs> so I was like, eh. whatever babes. And they were like a very small account. So <laughs> who the fuck cares in the end? Anyway, the point is, I get it. It does feel hurtful, but you should never abuse your fan base. To get even with someone, there is a bit of a power imbalance, don't you think? They looked up to you as well. You could have just sent them a DM and I'm sure it would have gotten solved. If you didn't want people to feel sorry for you and offer you attention, that is. After all this whole thing, I got so much views lately and, you know, my TikTok balance is increasing. Like, it's bad, but it's also good at the same time because I'm getting account engagement, like I'm getting more money. Again cloud and money and tiktok money tiktok money if i was a beggar i would make more money a beggar makes more money than a tiktoker like off of tiktok before fucking real tiktok money are you gonna sell your soul for tiktok money come on babes when you've got a platform with hundreds of thousands of followers you need to understand that whatever you do or say will influence people in some way. It's no matter how banal it is. It's banal a word in English. Regular. It means regular. I don't know. <laughs> banal. Banal. <laughs> banal. <laughs> no, but uh, regular. It means regular. So everything you do will influence people in some way. To feel differently about some shit. To get interested in some shit. To do some shit. And influencers understand this shit. Even an everyday Instagram story will have tens or even hundreds of replies. So there is no way that you don't understand your power as an, as, a, as an influencer. All of that being said, you could still try and argue that Purika didn't do it intentionally. I mean, she is 18, but she's still young. She's not very mature. She may have just been venting and inadvertently sent her thousands of followers after a 13 year old. However, she's done this shit before. <laughs> Dolly Estra is a YouTuber who's made a video about how she doesn't really fuck with the jelly art style. She did use some of her art as examples, but she didn't directly go after Purika herself. However, Purika did take it to heart. She did take it to heart. She did. She did send her people to do what they do best. You can see it in the comments under that video even today. But she took it one step further that time because she went as far as to accuse Doliestra of being a pedophile. Now, that is an alleged fact that multiple people 
have reported to multiple people online have reported to buy personally could not find any screenshots of that because they've been deleted off the server and the invite for the server doesn't even work right now so a lot of people say it's true but i don't have the evidence to take from that what you will i'm just reporting right now since this is repeat behavior and it's not an accident why is she doing all of this for what reason attention it's for attention we are all attention whores in this club that is influencer even me babes i like when you watch me thank you for being here all press is good press no matter whether you're being stoned or praised people are watching you so she's been reveling in the fucking pr disaster that this has been for her and i would say that speaks volumes about her character except there is not really that much to say about it maybe maybe a pamphlet it speaks a pamphlet about her character she's just a classic soulless influencer that gets high off of people defending her and fucking other people up in the process that's all i gonna kind of have to say about the situation it's still developing thank you for watching happy holidays once again happy new years i love y'all my little blind moles special thank you to the patrons i love y'all especially you make it happen you make my world spin and go around thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and liking this video please subscribe and like this video go on instagram because that's where i'm very active and interacting with y'all and yeah bye bye happy holidays once again don't send your friends after someone you're beefing with don't send your fans after someone you're beefing with because that's shitty behavior and we don't like to see it over here. Bye.